Bowl season is underway, and I am confident Jalen Hurts will improve. So confident that barring any injuries, okay, barring injuries, if Jalen Hurts doesn't throw at least 25 touchdown passes this year, I will do videos with a mohawk for a whole week. back here and hope everybody's having a great day hope you guys are doing well hope you're hanging in there you know i i, I believe Jalen hurts is going to be much improved this year i think he's going to be much improved i think all the talk about Jalen hurts struggling in camp or having ups and downs i think it's overblown and i am ready ready to put my money where my mouth is Jalen hurts will have at least 25 touchdowns now we're going to get into it in a second, but before we do that, if you're new to the channel, make sure you like, make sure you subscribe for Daily Eagles content, NFL content, you don't want to miss it. And if you've been subscribed for a while, just double check, double moonwalk check, make sure you're still subscribed. I, I ain't playing games, okay? I ain't playing games. I'm ready to put my money where my mouth is, or my hair rather. If Jalen Hurts doesn't throw at least 25 touchdowns, not total touchdowns, 25 touchdown passes. If he doesn't do that this year, I will I will do videos with a mohawk for a whole week after the season. And I won't wear a hat. I won't cover it up. You'll see the real deal. Philly 500, what a mohawk. Mr. P, like Mr. T, Mr. P. You know what I mean? I may even get some more gold chains. You know, get my, uh, hopefully I have my pinky ring by then. We'll be ready to go. You know, maybe the people who, who watch my OnlyFans when I do my squat cobblers, maybe maybe they'll 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 wanna they'll wanna watch me with a mohawk. Maybe it'll help. But I believe in Jalen Hurts. I, I, I do. And and I'm not saying and when I say that, I'm not saying, oh, he's the greatest thing since like spread, top five quarterback franchise core. I'm not saying it. But I believe he's as good as Kyler Murray. And I believe he could put up similar statistics to Kyler Murray. Now I could have said 25 to 24 touchdowns. But I didn't. I said 25. I think he's going to throw 25 touchdowns this year. I do. I do. Will that be enough to say, hey, Jalen Hurts is the guy? Maybe. Maybe not. But let's make let, 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 let's make it fun. Let's put something on the line for it, you know? I ain't more cool. I ain't this guy putting out nonsense about the Eagles every day to, to get all the Eagle fans all stirred up and crazy. He, he knows it's not true. He knows it's fake news. He's just trying to get under his skin. Don't let him. Because we're going to have the last laugh. We're going to have the last laugh. And I'm working on a pretty good intro with him. So just hold on. But I think, and, and, and it's, just, it's just, I don't know, it just kind of grates me wrong after a few days with Jalen Hurts, right? It's like, I don't understand why they're keeping track of uh, how many completions, interceptions, touchdowns he's throwing in practice, in practice, in camp. It's it's hard for me to to get get behind that. I get more excited when I hear a guy made a whoa, one handed catch, or or Jalen Rager came into to camp and he looks like he's in tremendous shape. Now I'm not a Rager guy, but I'm I, as long as he's an Eagle playing for the Eagles, I want him to do well. I want Derek Barnett to have 10 sacks, 12 sacks. Now, when he does it and he goes off sides in, in big games, he will feel the wrath of Philly 500. I will, let, I will tell you what I think. But I want all these guys to do good. I really do. And I, it just it just rubbing me wrong the last few days. Pause. I, I'm sorry I said pause. I should never say pause. Only pause. Do it. Don't say it. You know what I mean? I'm a doer, not a sayer. So... I just, you hear, oh, Jalen Hurts had an up, down, up day, down day. Oh, Jalen Hurts is struggling in camp. Jalen Hurts is this. He was 4 of 25. I mean, they're, it's practice. Okay, practice is important. But practice is where I want you to make your mistakes. Make your mistakes in practice. Then, in the game, don't make them. I, I don't get too concerned about it. Uh, now, now, look, I think preseason... Gives you a better barometer, a little better barometer, and then the season. Um, 
I do have concerns about how the Eagles are working out and how they're doing camp. And I talked, a, we talked a little bit about this on, on Shakedown last night. I mean, they they came for day one of practice, then they did a walkthrough, then they did another practice, then they did another practice, and now they're they're doing another walkthrough again. Then they come back for two days, and then I think the third is either um, off or walkthrough, then the fourth, and then the fifth, they're off again. It's like... I don't know. I think you should be out there two days, two hour practices. They're doing a 50, 58 minute practice. One was an hour and fifteen minute practice. That, that that does worry me a little bit. I I I'm a believer in the old school stuff. What I grew up on. So, you know, I know that they want to prevent injuries. I get it. But sometimes I think by not hitting and waiting, I almost feel like. That then when you throw these guys out there, their bodies aren't ready to be hit. I, I feel like you almost it almost toughens you up those two a days and stuff. But that's not how the NFL does it anymore. So it, it is what it is. Um, but it's hard for me to get worried about Jalen Hurts or or any other quarterback when they're not even in pads yet. They're they're still in shorts. They haven't even broken out the pads. They haven't even had um, they haven't even had hitting it. So. I'm not too worried about it. I think Jalen Hurts put a lot of work in. I believe he's going to improve. Is he going to improve enough to be the franchise quarterback down the road? Yet to be determined. I don't know. But I do think he's going to go out for at least 25 touchdowns. And if he does, then there's a good chance of it. But it's not a guarantee. I don't think statistics are the only barometer to judge Jalen Hurts. So I say, let's make this fun. I get 90 billion comments, he's not the guy, well, I'm ready to put uh, my hair where my mouth is. So we'll see. You know what I'm saying? The other thing I want to talk about is Jordan Davis and Kobe Dean. Now, when we drafted Jordan Davis, a lot of people, uh, for the most part, were happy with it. I was very happy with it. I think when you get a guy with his athletic ability, you have to take a shot on it. Even Mark Holmes knows that, okay? So, I mean, we talked about that in a video the other day, but what is really nice is that Jordan Davis is starting to make an impact, okay? Jordan Davis is starting to make an impact. Uh, here, here's what uh, uh, Elliot Shore Park says, although I, I don't care for all the stats of, of, of Hurts all the time. I don't think it's necessary. Here's what he says, and he could do his own thing, so who am I to tell or say anything about it? But uh, Jordan Davis has started to stand out as, as training camp goes on. Had a really day good day three of practice. Got into the backfield twice. Wants to pressure Hurts, another to stop running play. Pound Eagles. So he's not the only one that's saying this. There's there's multiple areas where this is coming from, where, where Jordan Davis is starting to make his presence known. He's starting to get first team reps. And I think Jordan Davis is going to have monster monster year so for me especially because you're not even in pads and hitting yet it's it's good to hear his name pop up um and he's going to take time to adjust if he's in shape and if he plays up to his ceiling and his ability he could be the best defensive tackle that we've had since jerome brown and that's the truth he has all the talent in the world he will take himself as far as he wants to go the other guy we want to talk about is nicobe dean because we're hearing that Nicobe Dean can legitimately challenge for the starting position, okay? Head coach Nick Sirianni says rookie Nicobe Dean has a, quote, good chance to start in the fall. The rookie has already made an impressive showing in his first two days of training camp. Pound Eagles, baby. Pound Eagles. Let me say this. Nicobe Dean was the steal of the draft. I mean, we, we were talking about second round. Get him now while he's there. Why is he Nicobe Dean in the second round? Why is he in the second round? Damn, I look like Denzel Washington. Anyways, you know, we were saying that. We were saying it. And then what happens? He falls to the third round. Um, He's going to start at some point this year. There, there's no question about it. Now, we're hearing good things about the linebacker. I mean, we're hearing, like, these linebackers can play, man. TJ Edwards has had a strong camp so far, and he was our best linebacker last year. Let's not forget it. Let's not sleep on uh, TJ Edwards, especially me, because I did this all season. 
every other season I've been raving about Edwards and I fell asleep on him a little bit. That's that's my bad. But he's had a great strong camp. Okay? Then you have Kaiser White. I mean, they're saying Kaiser White's all over the place. Uh, he looks like a great signing. Then, you, of course, you have Hassan Reddick. And then you have uh, 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 the other guy i got to talk about is uh, Davion Taylor. Davion Taylor's coming back from injury, but he's even getting some first-team reps. He is making a strong case to play. I think, I think the competition at linebacker right now is absolutely phenomenal. I really do. And I think... I think at the end of the day, though, I think N'Kobe Dean at some point will take the starting job. So so the linebacking situation is the best we've had in years, in years. And not only that, um, with the improved defensive line, with the improved linebackers, I think this defense has the opportunity to be really good. Jonathan Gannon has no excuses, no excuses whatsoever. Uh, and if and, and if you get production from from Jordan Davis, which I think you will, and Nicobe Dean, uh, you're you're in pretty good shape. And this this, ladies and gentlemen, is the reason Mark Holmes and the Cowboy fans are scared. They're worried. We took their soul when we took Jordan Davis. That's the truth. That's why they're scared. Um, you know, there, there there's been some guys that have been playing well. Uh, Bradbury is making a big impact on this team as well. And we got to keep. Keep an eye out for his name because I wonder, right? I wonder that in certain situations, if and I don't know if the you know how much the Eagles want to play man and stuff, but I just wonder in certain situations if James Bradbury would not be better off getting matched up with a big wide receiver in games, and then you put Slay on the smaller guys. You remember DK Metcalf kind of kind of had his way with Slay. A.J. Brown has had, had some really good moments against Slay in practice this week. And then you had Bradbury lock up A.J. Brown, uh, you know, make it very competitive. I don't know, but maybe, maybe there's a situation there where, where you could put Bradbury on the big guy since he's a bigger corner. Could be something to think about. Uh, I doubt they'll do it, though, because uh, I don't think that's what Jonathan Gannon wants to do. But we'll see. Uh, with that said, you guys take care. Talk to you later. Don't be a dingbat. Remember, how we vision, we're all just living in it. You know, get it. I've been saying all no, 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 no. It's not true. They didn't get Jordan Dick. No, no. No, no, that is not good. No! That is not good.